Siren 2, we have, we're having no problems at all with these buttons, and neither is Mamoru Itsuki. See, I can, I can press a video game button. I can press it fine. So this is his first mission. There's a mission 2 that's unlocked. Last time, we were not able to actually access the mission 2. We are now, however. It's open to us. And we are going to see what else Mamoru might have been able to do when he first arrived on the island of zombies and darkness and bad things and maybe girlfriends but then the girlfriend has a face chest and was only using you for your your man manness needed your manness to open up the gates to the underworld and feed mother so you know sometimes that's just the way sometimes you just get used for your body we can all relate to, with mamaru in that respect we're playing mission two So Mamoru was washed up on the docks here after being knocked out of the boat from the beginning of the game, if you might remember. Fortunately, his glasses landed here. That, that seems like good luck. So this was our tutorial mission, where it was teaching us the basics of how we play the game. Well, it's not going to be doing it this time. He briefly sees a Shirio. It's kind of hard to tell in that video, but he does. We have to find the metal. Now, my understanding is that we have to do this in a certain time limit. Don't know what the time limit is. The time limit's not on the screen, but there is a time limit for something. But I don't think it should be a problem. What's going on? Gotta get a weapon. Alright, so this was the mission where Mamoru met Yuri and went off with her. Also, he met, he met his first Shibito. That was just basically the basics of what happened. Oh, by the way, there's this ladder right here, but... Broken ladder cannot climb it. Let's just remember that we can't do that there. But we can go up the steps of pain. That's something we can do. There's some archive items over there, but we already got those last time. That's a dead guy just woke up. We can't believe it. He saw us. Doesn't really matter that much. Like, the tutorial just wants you to evade him, but, you know, we can just kind of do this. It's fine. Alright, now we can get a weapon. There we go. Uh, we can go get Yuri. It says get the locker key, which is a little different from last time. There was no locker key. There is a Yuri. She's still here. Hey, are you alright? Are you hurt? She does seem confused about where she is. What is it? I see what's going on. Stay here and keep hidden. He's after me. Please, help. Well, Mamoru is not looking at Yuri. He only has eyes... ...for this locker key. Now we have to acquire the iron pipe. 
But yeah, he's coming after Yuri. At first, we might have thought he's t she's talking about this one Shibito, but it can't be that because she says that in different circumstances that he's coming after her. <coughs> There he goes. All right, we probably should have a look at the item we picked up. Oh, the item we picked up. Locker key found in the materials warehouse. It can be used to open a locker at the workroom. Let's take a look at where the workroom is. So workroom... Looks like we can get to it from here. Instead of turning to the right, which got us to the exit. Yeah, workroom is, is over here. Where these archive items were. No, that's not the right button. It's locked from the inside. How do we get in? Oh, here's where the archive items were. But there's something else we can now do in here that we cannot do the first time. We can look at this. And now we're thinking maybe we can break through this little grate on the ground. We didn't try this last time. I mean, why would we try it? But we're trying it now. Mamaru's middle name is careful. I don't I don't think that's true. All right. We're down here where Kanai and Shu were hiding from strange angry men. Here's a locker. We now have a key for it. It's a lock locker, but soon it'll be an unlock locker. Would that be called an unlocker? I don't know. Neither do you. We do have an iron pipe. We're going to replace our scantling with this better weapon. Now we have to reach Turtle Hole. You can hear people walking around. Can't go through there. Can unlock that. Just in time for this guy to arrive. You can hear that helicopter going overhead. What was that noise? All right. Let's take a look. Just thinking about what we want to do here. It says we want to go to Turtle Hole, but I think might be something else that we want to do before we head to the hole. <gasps> ah, yes. An item on the ground. Let's switch weapons. This might be a weapon, I think. Think you can use that? Yeah. I don't want to drop my iron pipe, but I do want to pick up this wrench. Monkey wrench and wrench with an adjustable with an adjustable spanner that can be used on bolts and nuts of infinite sizes. Wow. Sorry, various. Why did I read infinite? Infinite. It just says various. Infinite would have been incorrect. I was seeing a word that wasn't there. Now, because we did that, we got an action to complete mission two. Somewhere else. So now, it did say that we want to head to the hole. Hold on. Right, turtle hole. It's over there. But how do we get to the hole? Well, we can see from there, we need to go down the steps of pain. I just like saying it. 
I just like saying steps of pain. I don't know why they would be called that. They're just steps. I'm gonna switch weapons to my iron pipe. Is Yuri coming? Here she is. Why are we doing that? Hey, remember this ladder? If we had some footing. If only we did. <coughs> Mamoru is a super genius. He used the iron pipe to climb the ladder. Alright. Alright, so now, let's go down here. Now we should get an archive item as we go down here. It doesn't seem like we did. I wonder if I was too late. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, you remember that we saved a turtle in Kanai's level? When you do that, you can now get that item here as Mamoru. I don't know why, but you do. Anyway, here's the medal. This is... This is what, Mamoru? It's the exposition medal! It's gonna tell us all about the story. Mission accomplished. You think he's over here? Hey, Shu! Slow down! Ah, uh, look! Are you dead? <sighs> well... Let's have a look at the description here. Washed ashore, the Mikamis are looking for something. Shu notices Kanai lying still in the shadow of a boulder. He eyes the girl as if possessed. I, don't, I, I didn't notice that from Shu. But yeah, uh, Shu and his father find Kanai lying on the shore. I assume this is the first time they've ever met her. They just kind of find her there. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. So. Back on Mamoru's level. So I said that there was a time limit, and the time limit had to do with that one archive item. That I don't really understand it, but to get that one archive item, you had to save the turtle in Kanai's level. Otherwise, that item is not accessible. And then you get it if you make that if you get to that ladder and go down in a certain period of time. I don't really understand, but that's what that is. We're gonna take a look at some archive items. We have two. One is the Yamagami. That's it. It's like a turtle with an angry face on its shell. Yamigami. Yamigami family. Turtle inhabiting the coastline of Yamajima Island in the Shikai region. An area among, known among seafarers as the site of several shipwrecks. This location, coupled with the strange markings on the turtle's shell, which are said to resemble a facial expression of rage, has spawned a myth that the turtle is inhabited by the vengeful spirits of those who were lost at sea. In the past, fishermen feared that the turtles were cursed. Hence, they were known to go so far as to cut their precious fishing nets to release any Yamigami turtles that were snared in them. So there you go. It's a turtle. Big ol' angry face on the back. It might be cursed? No one's sure. Then we have the exposition medal, which the requirement was to find the antiquated medal. Actually, what was the... The requirement for Yamagami was find Yamagami. That doesn't really say much, but we found the antiquated metal. Here it is. Oh. Earthenware and Peace International Exposition. An international exposition featuring 44 pavilions sponsored by 79 countries that gathered under the slogan of Earthenware Peace. By peace. You get it? It's, a, it's fun wordplay. The exposition featured as its symbol what many consider as the world's greatest earthenware creation, the Jomon Tower. However, contrary to expectations, the theme park failed to garner any interest among family audiences. As a result, the exposition closed its gates with an unprecedented financial loss. Man, multiple stories of big bankruptcies happening. 
I wonder why the earthenware themed theme park did, didn't garner any interest among families. I I mean that it sounds like a fun day out to me. I don't know. Well, we've done that, and now we just got, and we also got a little scene seeing Kanai from twenty nine years ago. Doesn't tell us much. We just, but we do find out that Shu and his father just apparently found her on the beach, and that's how they got to know each other. All right, looks like the next mission that we have that's earliest on in the timeline. Yeah, it's going to be the second mission for Mamaru's second level, in which Tomoe appeared, grabbing at Yuri. Mamaru ran away with Yuri. Uh, and that's how that began. So we're going to do the second objective for this one and see what we might find as we continue on with Siren 2.